Good morning everyone, this is Bremster and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Ratus Protectus Cassius by Rockrat Zero and Rat. Um, not sure how I pronounce rat with the umlauts. Rat? Rat? I, rat. Um, so this puzzle has a theme. Apparently this puzzle is a little bit older um, and this has been sitting in the archive for... They said a while, so um, uh, because they said when the um, one of the rules in this, the entropy rule, um, was newer when it was uh, done in the archive. So, and I played with this one, might have been very early last year. So, uh, with the entropy constraint, so it, um, yeah, this could be a year old. I, I'm really not sure. I should have checked, but eh, um, puzzles don't. Like, they don't wither and die. Um, puzzles are forever. Some of my favourite puzzles are from well before I got into the hobby. So, you know, cool. I should look some of them up and see if I can get permission from setters who vanished. To... This is the problem with really old puzzles, is I like to, I, I really need to have permission from the setter to do them. And some of the puzzles that I absolutely adore, the setters are gone. Like, they're no longer around, or they were published anonymously because they were part of competitions or whatever. And while they're available publicly, um, they're, they're not ones that I can cover because I, I can't turn around and say, hey, may I please do your puzzle on the channel? Um, and yeah, that's always a bit of a trick. So anyway, um, I also wish to reach and thank, uh, reach out to my patrons and say thank you for your continued support um, during the recent times when I have not been as active as I would like. Um, thank you very much for everything that you've done to support me. Um, I really do appreciate it um, because the continued support of my patrons has been one of the things that's kept me going. So thank you. Um, anyway, let's have a look at Ratus Protectus Cassius. So there's a few slightly modified rules in play. If you, you look above, you can kind of see the names they've given them. Um, so we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We have whisk purrs, which are the whiskers of the rat, um, which are whisker rule, uh, whis uh, German whispers, which means that adjacent digits pardon me, on the line must vary or have, must have a difference by a, of at least five. The snout is a thermo with the bulb um, in uh, row six, column five, um, and digits along thermos must strictly increase from the bulb to the tip. Uh, spots, which are the um, bordered circles, must be odd digits, and then the bordered squares must be even. Uh, and then we've got the cheese, and the cheese are boxes 1, 3, 7, and 9, and these squares must contain um, the entropy rule, and any 2x2 two two, um, box within the cheese must... Um, must contain one low digit, one medium digit, and one high digit at least. So you can't have, uh, you can't miss one of the uh, entropy strata within the corners. And they're the rules we've got. Um, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer because this puzzle has been loaded on my screen for over a day. Um, let's give this a shot. So. I'm actually a little bit scared of this puzzle because, not because rats bother me, they absolutely don't, but because often when I get entropy, I will colour. Often when I have odd even, I will colour, and odd, often when I have gem whisper lines, I will cover colour, and that's three levels of colouring, and I don't like it. I just can't cope with multiple styles of colouring. So I'm going to try and do this. I'm going to try and figure out where the colouring is needed, but I'm going to start by saying, okay, this has to be two, four, six, eight, because they're the even digits. So these are all odd. So these are all odd, and these are odd. So if these are all odd and those are odd, these are all even digits, and those are two, four, six, and eight. That doesn't tell me anything about that. Now, one thing I do know, okay, <laughs> the whisper line description. Um, you can never put five on a whisker line because on whiskers, um, the five difference means if I put five there, if I go down from five, I end up with zero or lower. And if I end up with, um, if I go up, I end up with five or higher. So I can never put five on a whisker line and all of those cells are on whisker line. So five is in those two and it's the same in this box. Five is in those two. Oh, which, where does five go in this middle row? It goes slap bang in the middle. Okay. 
But the other thing about whisker lines is they will always alternate high-low because um, if you pick any low digit, any number lower than five, you can't go down without leaving the range of Sudoku digits. And if you go up because of the five digits, you must leapfrog the five. And if you start high, you can't go up, leave the range of Sudoku digits. If you go down, you must leapfrog the five. So you'll always alternate high-low. I'm not sure what that is giving me. I am going to select all of the circles and I'm going to put 13579 into those because that's the thing. Now I can never put five onto these ones on the whisper line. Um, I can't put five into that one on the whisker line. I can't put five into this one in the box. And this can't be seven or nine. It can't be nine because it's not the end of a thermo. And seven, there are four cells at least higher than it on this thermo. So this can't be a seven either. Wait a minute. I've used this trick before. Um, on a thermo with a whisper line, because this must alternate high-low, but this has to be lower than this. This has to be a low digit, and it's partway along a thermo. So this is 2, 3, 4, and this is 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, this can't be 6 because the only digit that is 5 away from 6 is 1, and I can't put 1 on both sides, so this is not 6. Don't have the same over here. Those two cells, those two cells right there are beautiful. That one is low and that one is high. Right, that is really, really cool. Okay, this one, this one can't be a four because it sees all three of those cells. And the only digit that is five away from four is, uh, I'm, I'm like six steps ahead in my head and now I've got to explain where I am. Um, these would all have to be nine because they're all adjacent to four, but they all see each other, so that can't be four. But the only digit that is five away, digits that are five away from three within the range of Sudoku digits are eight and nine. But there are three digits there that are adjacent to that within the same box. So I'd have to make all three of those from eight and nine, and I can't do it. So this has to be a two, and these are seven, eight, and nine because six isn't far enough away. And this has to be a high digit, so this becomes a six and this becomes a one. And these are low digits, which are two, three, four. I'm going to stop there. But what I saw is this cell is now beautiful because this needs to be a digit. This is one, by the way, because it's lower on the, um, on the thermo. But this digit needs to be another digit that has um, three digits that can be further away from it. But it... <laughs> It can't be a low digit, because if it's a low digit, it's three or four, and three or four, as we just explained, only have nine or eight and nine, and I can't fill it with those. So it has to be a high digit, so it's seven, eight, or nine, it sees a six, but I didn't even do it that way. The way I did it was, it can't be a nine, because it's not at the end of the thermo, and it can't be seven, because seven only has two digits that are five away. This has to be an eight, which means these are one, two, and three. The one, two there makes this the three, which means there's no three there there the one there makes this two and that makes this one that is beautiful the eight there takes eight out of there three can only be next to eight or nine so that's the nine which means this is the seven and the only thing left in the row is a four that's beautiful there's no seven in those So this is higher than eight, so it's nine. I'm kind of done with the thermos because in this box, all of the digits I have left are higher than two. This is not a nine anymore. There's no nine up here anymore. There's no one three up here anymore. This takes nine out of here. Four is not there. In fact, four is not in any of those, and those are all odd. So four must be in there, which takes four out of there. Eight and nine are in there, so there's no eight in there, so there must be an eight in there. Nine must be in one of those two. 
because of Sudoku. Nine, nine means nine is down here, but that's a low digit. So nine is in one of those. Oh, that no, there. Nine is looking there, which means that. <laughs> uh, I am a champion solver. Um, this is not a two anymore. Wait a minute. This can't be low because it's on the same. Right. These can't be low. So these are seven and nine. No nine there or seven because of those. This is a seven nine pair. Wait a minute. These are odd because all of the even digits are gone, but it sees five, seven, and nine. This is a one three pair. So these are five, seven, and nine across here and must include a five. So I can take five, seven, nine out here and five and seven out of here. This is a one three pair. That's diabolically clever. This can't be a six anymore, because if this is a six, this is a one, and I can't put a one in the box. There's going to be stuff like that all over this grid. This is a high digit. So this is six, seven, or eight, because it can't be a nine for multiple reasons. This is a high digit, so it's six, seven, or eight. No, it's not eight. This is a six or a seven. And this now, right, of course, this had to be a low digit. I should have jumped straight there. So this is a two, which takes two out of those and two out of there. Still need to put an odd digit in here. Now, this is low, and it's one or three only because two and four see it. Now, if that's a three, that's an eight. Not seeing a problem there. That is not a seven. I'm jumping all over the place on this grid, but it seems like there's just stuff everywhere. This is not a seven, because if this is a seven, this is a one or a two, and it can't be. So this is not a seven. So this is high, which allows it to be anything. My phone just buzzed. Um, I've set my phone to buzz now. Um, I still also check my Discord regularly because ever since the big life change, if my mother call or messages me, I need to check it. It's just the way life is. Entropy. Guess who's completely forgotten entropy? I'm not sure it's helping me at this point. I've got a low, I've got a high, so one of these has to be mid, but that's okay. I've got a mid. Right, none of those are low and that's not low. This can't be five or seven. This is a one or a three. So one of these is mid and one of these is high. One of these, right, these are both low. So I can't put a two in here because if I put a two in here, I've got three low digits in this in this um, two by two. And if I've got three low digits, I don't have room for a low, uh, a medium and a high. So there's no two in here. So there's a two in here. So one of these is eight and the other one is four or six, which is fine. But now... The only low digit in all of this, there's no low there, no low there, no low there. So this has to be the two. This has to be the four. There's no four in here. This is a six, eight. So there is entropy to do. There's now a two in one of those two cells. Now this four makes this a nine. Which means there's no nine here, which means nine is in one of those two. Six 
six is in one of those two by Sudoku. Eight is in one of those two. I can't put a high digit in any of those. But there must be a high digit in these. So there's... Hang on a minute. I can't put a high digit in any of those. That's a high digit and there's a high digit in here. So there's got to be a high digit put in here that covers both of those squares. That has to be a high digit. That has to be a 7 or a 9. Because if I put the 7, 9 here, then there's no high digit here. And if I put the 7, 9 here, then there's none here. This has to be the 7 or the 9. This is now only 4, 5, because the only things missing from the box are 2, 3, 4, 5, and this now sees um, 2 and 3. So this is 2, 4, 5? So these are from 2, 4, 5, 8. Hang on, but if this is 8... I've got three high digits in this entropy band now, in this little two by two, because these are seven and nine. So if I put an eight here, that'd have to be both low and mid. That's not the eight, this is the eight, which means this is not the eight. So this is two, four, or five. Oh, 7, 9, looking at that. That's been there for ages. And this is now done. Medium, low, high. High, low. Wait a minute. No, it's not. They're high. That's low. This has to be medium. That's the 6. That's the 8. The five looks down, taking five out of there. So this is now low and high. I have to put a medium in here. What are these? These are one, three, and six. But I could still hide a medium there, I think. But these are both high. These have to be low and medium. So this is from two, three, four, five. Because it has to be low and medium, and it can't be one, six. This may not be the efficient way to do this puzzle. In fact, these are a two, three, four, five. Yeah, these are two, three, four, five. But there's no three because three is down here. So these are two. This is a two, four, five triple. But five. I oh know two has to be in one of those two because it's the only low digit possible there. But two has to be in one of those. This has to be the two. The only low digit I've got in that is two. So this has to be the two, so it covers both squares. So this is a four, five pair, which means that's three, which means that's no longer seven, that's nine. I could have taken six out of there for the same whisper logic ages ago. That three means there's no three here. Two is in here. I have probably missed all sorts of stuff. That makes this seven, which means this is not four, it's two. That makes this 9, which makes this 7. That's medium. That's medium. Now, in here, I've got the high. I need a low. I've got a low. I need a medium in there. But that's either 4, 5. That's now resolved. And I've got the high. I've got the low. I've got the medium. This is now resolved. Okay. This couldn't be in six for so long because of that two. That's the seven, so this is the eight. 
So these are five and six. There's no two here anymore. So that's four, five. These are one, three, six. One, three pair. Is that doing anything? It's leaving me with a quadruple in row two. Four, five, seven, eight. So this is five, seven, or eight because I can't use four for multiple reasons. It can't be five because of the five in there. This is only seven or eight. So this is high. So I've got two lows. This is high. This has to be medium. So it's not eight. This is four or six. What about up here? There's a medium in one of those two. So there's a five or a six in here. Ooh, tricky. Here's another interesting one. I've got one and three in there, so I don't have a low digit in here. So there has to be a two in one of those two because that two is seeing those. And that two is seeing that one. That's a two. That's cool. That's, ah, right, one three pair. Let's use that. That's not one or three. And now the seven is looking up, making that the five, that the seven. Five, seven comes out of there. That becomes the nine. The seven makes this eight, which means this is not eight. This is a four, six pair looking across, making that eight. And this is now a one or a three, giving me a one, three pair in the row. This is glorious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not a two because of that. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, four and five. And the five here resolves it, four and five. Don't have to worry about entropy where there is no cheese. Oh, cheese. It's too early in the morning for cheese. Did I just say that? Anyway, seven and nine look down, making this six. So this becomes one, which means this becomes three, which means this becomes one, which means this becomes three, which means this becomes one, which means this becomes three. How did I even think that was a thing? too early for cheese. <laughs> this is not a three anymore because of that one. This is not a one anymore because of that one. It's also not six. That's the three. So that's the one and that's the six. Okay. Now stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is four or six. And there's a six here. So that's the four. That's the six. That's the four. Now I have to worry about entropy. I've got a low and two mediums. This has to be high and it's not seven or nine. That is an eight. Now this has a low, a medium and a high. That could be anything. This has a low and a medium. I need to put a high in here. Well, I know what these are because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. These are seven and nine and that seven makes this nine and this seven. This is now just a what do you call it? five, which makes this four and this five. Low, medium, medium, high, low, low, medium, high, low, medium, high, high, low, medium, high, high, low, low, medium, high, low, medium, medium, high, low, medium, medium, high, low, medium, high, high, low, medium, high, low, medium, high, low, medium, high, low, medium, high. So we're good for entropy. Go for entropy. Um, these are triples now. One, two, three, four, nine. There's no two or nine there. That's the four. And the reason there's no two or nine is I'm already columned. There's no nine here, so this becomes two and this becomes nine. The two looks up, meaning that's not the two. I now have a six, seven pair, giving me a two. Um, okay, next triple maybe? Yeah, let's do the next triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's no five in either of those two. Again, I have been dropped on by fives, so that becomes a five. Uh, stopping there. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There is no one or eight there, so that's the seven. 
I dropped a seven out of those. This eight makes this the one and this the eight. The one looks up making that the three and that the one. The three drops down making that the six and that the three. The six looks all the way up making that seven and that six. Can probably put that in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a four. This is now a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's no seven in any of those. So that'll become the seven. I'll use that six to make that a three and that a six. Use that four to make that five and that four. The five can zoom all the way back to make that six and that five. And that is the correct solution to Rattus Protectus Cassius by Rock Rat Zero and Rat. That was stunning fun. Every deduction fed to the other. I forgot about the entropy for way too long. How could I forget about cheese? Cheese is almost as good as coffee. Now I want cheese and coffee. I can have coffee. Very, very good puzzle. I enjoyed that one a lot. Um, yeah. Puzzles like that make my morning. Um, I've got a long work day to face on a Friday. <laughs> but yeah, that's a lot of fun. Um, thank you everyone for watching. Um, I hope you're enjoying the puzzles. I know I am. That was a lot of fun. Um, I'm also having a lot of fun over on Bremster Games. I'm looking at streaming. There's a game series that was released years ago called The Room. Um, and the first Room game was almost felt like a proof of concept. It was the studio sort of figuring it out. And then they expand the games as they move through. And I'm looking at picking that up. Then I'm trying to figure out whether I want to stream it on Bremster Puzzles. Because they really are just puzzles. Or on Bremster Games. Um because I do want to grow that other channel um, and it's not growing. <laughs> like I've had the same number of subscribers on that channel now for three weeks. Um, so even though I've been putting out content almost every day, um, it's fine. I mean, people aren't interested in watching me play video games, which is what I'm doing over there at the moment. Um, but um, yeah, I probably, I'll figure it out, um, but it'll appear somewhere. And those puzzles, I remember being, I don't remember the solutions to the puzzles, but I remember really enjoying them. But I last played one of those puzzles well before I got into Sudoku. So it was years ago and thousands and thousands and thousands of puzzles ago. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how that all works. Um, anyway, that'll come soon. Um, I don't know how soon. It could be before this video comes out, the way my life is going at the moment. We will see. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, hope you're enjoying the puzzles. And as always, good luck with your solving.